Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's topic is all about motivation. And because motivation is such a broad topic, I'm gonna go ahead and break this video down into three sections. The first section is going to be the truth about motivation. Number two is going to be what to do to stay motivated. And number three is what do you do when you're not motivated anymore? So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, then please stick around. Also, I just wanted to mention that if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. It really helps on my channel. Also, check out my other social media. I'm under everything as jackstan520. I put a lot of fitness, inspiration, and motivation stuff on all of my social media. So I hope that you guys come and say hi. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The truth about motivation is that it lasts this long and it's short-lived. There's no such thing as being motivated for, throughout your whole journey. That's just not gonna happen. And the example that I can give you is, let's say that you're going to run a half marathon. You know, you're in the crowd, you're ready to start, you're at the starting line, you're very motivated, you're feeding off all of the energy, you can't wait to get started, you can't wait to get it under your belt, and you start running. Feeling great, everything's feeling nice, your body's warming up, you're loving the feeling, and then after a little while, about halfway through, you're focusing more on the pain now in your quads, and your feet are starting to hurt, and maybe your calves are cramping up, and you are not feeling as motivated as you felt in the beginning, but you're just gonna continue to go, you know, and then all of a sudden, a song comes on, and it's your song, and it's your jam, and you're just going with the rhythm of the song, and you're loving every moment of it, and then the motivation is there, and you're able to push for a little bit longer, and then you get tired again, but you see that the finish line is, is very close, so then that motivation sets in, and you have a second wind, and then you go for it, and you're loving it, and you're done. You're so excited, but you have the race under your belt, completed it, you're excited, you're ready to start for the next one, and that right there is one of the best ways that I can explain motivation and how short-lived it is. So this is the way that life works. Which brings me to the second part of this video, which is how to stay motivated. Now that we know the truth about motivation and how it doesn't last very long, we need to figure out how to stay motivated. So I have two tips for you of how to stay motivated. Number one is to make small achievable goals. Create goals for yourself that are small, that are achievable, that you can accomplish, and that way when you accomplish it, it will fuel your motivation and it'll keep you wanting to do it over and over again. There's a lot of input that's involved when you're going to maintain your motivation. Sit down and you have to say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and do it, and then that sense of accomplishment makes me want to set another goal for the next week. And I do small things like that. So I'll do daily goals, weekly goals, and they don't have to be anything crazy. Number two is to document your goals. So make sure that you write down your goals and that you look at them every single day and that you put them in post-its in your mirror so that you are always reminded why it is that you're doing it and what your goal is and that it's documented and that you hold yourself accountable for those goals. When I first started my fitness journey years ago, I actually had a little piece of paper. I wrote down a couple of things and I folded the paper up and I put it in my wallet and to this day, Years later, I still have it in my wallet, and actually, about a month ago, I looked at it when I have a really bad day, like yesterday, in fact, I'm doing my, my diet plan, I had a really bad day, I wanted to quit, I didn't wanna eat all the stuff that I was supposed to eat, I wanted to just go and have a donut, do whatever I wanted to do, eat whatever I wanted to do, it's like I didn't care, I remembered what it was that I had, I had put as my goal, and I decided to not do that, and I stuck to my plan. With that said, that brings us to the third part of this video, which is what do you do when you have no motivation? And this is a tough question to answer because this is one that requires some work. When you don't have any more motivation, you rely on what I like to call the three Ds. Number one, dedication. When motivation starts to drop down, you remember that you've dedicated yourself. So going back to the run, right at the beginning I have all of this motivation and then it starts to go down, but I've already dedicated myself to doing this run, so I have to follow through with that. So I hold myself accountable to do that. Number two is diligence. So this means day in, day out, you're practicing. You're practicing what you need to do in order to get to your goals. When it comes to the run, I'm practicing a certain amount of miles 
every week and I get them in and that is me diligently working towards that goal, towards that accomplishment and that allows me to stay and continue my goal even if I've lost a little bit of motivation. Key number three is discipline. Make sure that you're disciplined. If you write down all of the stuff that you wanted to do, all of your short-term goals for the week, make sure that you do them, that you're disciplined, that you follow all of your plan because that will bring back the motivation, it will fuel the motivation, and then it'll lead you to a successful path. If you have a goal, then most likely that goal is something that's going to make you happy. So you have to be disciplined and do what it is you do need to do to get to that goal. Now, these three Ds are so important to remember because, like I was saying, motivation doesn't last long. And we want to make sure that we're successful in the things that we want to do. And learning and thinking about those three things has helped me so much in my life and I hope that it helps you guys. That is going to conclude the three parts of this video. And before I go, I just wanted to remind you that even if you may not feel 100%, you can always give 100%. Always be the one in the room that's working the hardest. Make sure that your hard work is your motivator. And that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that it was motivational. If you do like it, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys at the next video.